Another day, another red flag warning for the area as gusty winds and dry conditions continue. Crews were busy battling a brush fire at a, a cemetery in Cumberland this afternoon. 12 News meteorologist Stephen Matragrano talks about things to look out for to help prevent starting a fire. Stephen? This time of year brings falling leaves and chilly temperatures, but combine that with the dry weather that we've been seeing, and it could be enough to spark a fire. Patrick McMeekin, Forest Fire Program Manager with the Rhode Island Department of Environmental Management, says there are some preventative measures you can take to avoid starting a fire near your home. One thing that's maybe often overlooked, this time of year gets pretty chilly at night, so folks have uh, fires in their wood stoves inside, and the next morning, be very careful on how you discard those ashes. You really should be drowning those ashes in a bucket of water. Don't just throw them out the back door of your house because that potentially could start a brush fire. Another thing to keep in mind is when mowing your lawn or picking up leaves with the mower as they too can spark a fire. Just be very cautious when you're using gas powered lawn, lawn equipment. The exhaust can get so hot that if it touches dry grass, it can start a brush fire. Other ways to help protect your property include raking leaves and disposing of them without burning, as well as removing any sticks and debris from your yard. Mac Meekin says the goal is to spread awareness and get the message out to the public. As DEM, what we're doing is we're really helping coordinate the fire messaging across the state. Um, it's your local fire department that is the primary firefighting force. Mac Meekin says local fire departments take control if and when a brush fire develops. It is an interagency um, mutual response to those fires, but really it's the local fire department that takes the lead. And remember to continue to avoid outdoor burning and dispose of smoking materials properly. If a fire is sparked, make sure you call 911. In East Providence, Stephen Matragrano, 12 News.